everyone, it's Norma, and it is time for what I am burning now in the month of November. It's actually raining outside right now, so I'm kind of wishing I had uh, Yankee Candle November rain going, but I don't. Um, I actually burnt two of the two wick tumblers last year, and they just had such an awful performance that I actually had to exchange them for something else. Um, so I don't have any November rain. But, uh, yeah, so it's, a, it's kind of, you know, in the mid-40s. I think it might turn to snow later on tonight or freezing rain. I don't know what's going to happen. Just such strange weather lately. But anyway, let's get going because my phone battery is not fully charged. So I just hope I have enough to get through the video. So in my bathroom, I have tea lights in vanilla lavender. And I started this large jar today. This is in vanilla lavender because my lake sunset died this morning and this jar believe it or not has been going for hours and hours and I think it's probably been going too long because at first I was afraid I was going to have to blow it out trim the wick and relight it it's like no no I want to do the video um so I want to show a nice wax pool well I don't know exactly what happened because now it looks like that wick is struggling a little bit you know, I came in here expecting the flame to be sky high, and as you can see, it's not. And, you know, there is a little bit of a wax pool going, but considering this candle literally has been going all day, it's like, you know, almost 8.30 at night now, and I think I started it at least no later than noon, maybe even sooner. So, I don't know what's going on with that. You know, it is a nice scent. You know, I love lavender vanilla scents, and this is a really nice scent. I just wish it was stronger. Um, I could smell it earlier this morning when I had nothing else going, but now they got a, I have a bunch of stuff lit up. It's kind of getting lost, and I don't know if it has to do with that wick starting to drown out. Um, I don't know what's going on with it, but it, it's always been one of my favorites. I'm just... Uh, wish it was a little bit stronger. Then over here on my dresser, I just have some votives going in Napa Valley Sun. Because as I said earlier, um, I had Napa Valley Sun going on in the bathroom, but it died. So I didn't feel like changing out the votives because I had just replaced them. But they're doing great. And there's my cha-cha. I miss him so much. Okay, so over here on my bedroom dresser, I have um, the Luminara candles are actually from Inspire Me. They are a, they're a hammered metallic. I think I talked about them in my last video. And in my hurricane, I have a Veluspa candle. This is a Grand Mason jar in the scent Bourbon Vanilla. And it's actually doing really good right now. Um, you know, this is not a candle that I burn all the time because, you know, it was expensive and it's so gorgeous looking. So I bring it out for special occasions, like on a Sunday when I'm home and I have time to burn. And my first few burns have actually been very disappointing because I couldn't smell it. But it's doing a lot better now. Um, as you can see, I've gotten past, you know, probably about an inch down. And it's fully pulled out now. And it looks gorgeous. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So I can actually smell it. It's not a strong thrower, um, especially considering the size. But I can smell it. And I noticed because I've been going in and out of the room all night because I've been you know, cleaning the house and doing whatever. Um, as I go in and out of the room, I can definitely, definitely, definitely smell it. So I'm happy because I was worried that, you know, for such an expensive candle not to have a throw. I was like, what the heck is going on? But yeah, look beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Okay, then over here I have a votive in Napa Valley Sun and the remnants of my Veluspa candle in Baltic Amber, which I talked about in my last video. And as you can see, I have the same thing going on over here. Now over here is a bit of a disappointment. I have two colonial candles going in the scent pumpkin pie and look at this mess just look at this mess I'll see if I can take it down um, 
it started out with taking a long time to pull out and then it, it started to get a little bit better it was pooling out and then uh, the wicks got tiny I'll show you I have another one going hang on if you can see see the wicks are tiny it's barely lighting up the luminary So then the wick started to get tiny and to the point where there was a couple nights I actually forgot to blow the candle out because I didn't realize I had a candle blowing and you know I'd wake up in the morning and it's like oh my goodness I left the candle going and it would have been it was barely pulled out after burning all night. So yeah the performance on this one has been pretty crappy <laughs> look at that and what a mess. So um, as soon as I finish this video I'm done with this candle and um, I have um, a couple candles going on my stove right now, which you'll see in a few minutes. And I'm going to put them in here to finish off their life because this is just sad. But at least with one wick, it's still lightening up the luminary, unlike the other one, which has both of the wicks going, but they're so puny, it's like they're barely there. Okay, and I know this isn't decorated much, but you know, it's the back of my toilet basically. Um, and I just haven't done much in here. Um, I have a writing jar version of Yankee Candles Mountain Lodge in here. I think it's called um, Mountain Cabin instead of Mountain Lodge. And, you know, it's a little bit of a slow burner, but it will eventually pull out. But I'm not getting hardly any scent throw. I mean, when it does completely pull out, I do get a faint scent. I mean, it's a nice scent, you know, it's a little bit of a warm, masculine cologne scent. It's not a heavy, powerful cologne. It's a little woodsy, warm. It's, it's a nice scent. It's a very popular scent, but it's also always been known for being notoriously light, which is a shame. Because, um, you know, it could be nice. But um, I have some votives going in something totally unrelated. And um, it's actually some votives in Yankee Candles Beechwood simply because they were out and I needed to use them up and I didn't have any votives in Mountain Lodge. And then because I couldn't smell my Mountain Lodge, I decided to burn this candle. This is an Henri Vendel candle in the scent Amber. It's a discontinued scent. Um, but basically it's, you know, a blend of different ambers with incense. Um, you know, it's, I like it. It reminds me a little bit of the perfume opium, um, a little bit more on the incense side, but yeah, it's a nice scent for, you know, cold winter months or rainy November months. Okay, on my stove, two candles that I'm extremely happy with. It's Yankee Candles Blueberry Scone. Um, in my Facebook group, we do candle roulette and the candle for the month of November to burn was like a berry or plum scented candle so I did blueberry scone and it's doing fabulous you guys saw where I just um, left my computer room where I had those pumpkin pies going I had initially started these two candles over there in those hurricanes and the two of them in that room was just scrumped delicious oh my goodness you could smell the blueberry you could smell the cream you could smell the scone I love this candle. Um, performance wise it's doing fairly well now because during the week um, due, to con due to construction traffic I have a solid hour commute every day um, one, one way so that's two hours a day commuting so it's it's cut down on my burn time so my candles haven't had time to pull out all the way um, especially in the morning so they've been tunneling a little bit. This didn't tunnel that bad, but surprisingly enough, the wicks would go out because I guess they were just getting drowned in the extra wax. So I actually had to cut some wax out today. So it's starting to do a lot better, as you can see. So it's a little bit messy there, but it'll get better. But this is a Yankee that actually throws, so I'm thrilled to death about that. Okay, so over here I have a couple more Yankees. Um, in my votive holders, I just have Yankee Candle Buttercream. And then in here, 
I just uh, filmed an empties video and I originally had my um, cinnamon sugar in this space but it died this afternoon so I replaced it with pumpkin pie which I had going on my stove earlier but as you saw now I have blueberries going so I do kind of switch my candles around depending on what finishes first you know what goes where um, pumpkin pie is doing fairly well you know throw I wish it was a little bit stronger but you know most of my candles that I'm burning right now are like 2014 so you know it was a bad year um, I bet I love this holder I just love it I still not tired of it just absolutely love it and then over here I have Yankee Candle which one is this cinnamon vanilla um, this one has been going all day as you can see I'm trying to correct some tunneling that occurred during the week um, and it literally has been going all day since this morning um, so it's still not quite corrected but it hasn't uh, drowned out the wick either so a couple more hours hopefully it'll be okay but um, the cinnamon vanilla is actually throwing it's doing great you know it seems to me like Yankee Candle just discontinues all the candles that actually throw and they keep the ones that don't okay so over here I have some pillars in Yankee Candle Harvest and they're starting to pull out but uh, I have an issue with one of them as you can see this wick has moved closer to this side so this side's not pulling out but this side is so this is in harvest this one's doing a little bit better and then I have tea lights in French vanilla and then in here I have a pure radiance candle in ginger pumpkin can we hear the wick I don't think so this one did a lot better earlier today because I had it going for a few hours um, but then I had to blow it out and trim the wick so it should be doing better than this though because it's been going since six o'clock and it's almost nine o'clock now so yeah maybe I trimmed it a little bit too short which I am guilty of because I'd rather deal with that than soot shooting up from it but um, in general you know the ginger pumpkin has been doing well my harvest I can't really smell it um, I'd go so far as to say that it's kind of scentless so I'm trying to use up these pillars um, I kind of went crazy over the pillars a few years ago because um, I like the way they look you know but uh, yeah I just don't have luck. I don't have luck with them. Okay, and over here I have a Bath and Body Works candle. This is in the scent Golden Cinnamon that came out, was it last year or two years ago? Um, I know they didn't bring it back. Um, I know in general this fall it's kind of sucked at Bath and Body Works for candles. A lot of people are disappointed in the scents they didn't bring back and the scents that they did bring out. Um, so I haven't even bought any candles from Bath and Body Works this fall. Um, you know, I did stock up, you know, two, three years ago with some pretty good scents. So I'm glad about that. But, uh, yeah, I really like this scent. It's just a nice, pleasant, um, cinnamon sugar type scent. It's, you know, nothing special, but it's nice. It's pleasant. And as you can see, it's doing well. And I love the ombre glass ombre glass it's just you know beautiful fall color okay and over here this is really the only decor change that I made from my previous video that I did in October I originally had a different hurricane collection out here it was um I forget the name of the actual collection but it was like you know golden glass with like some falling leaves on it but I absolutely had to bring out my Twilight Silhouette collection. Um, that collection came out, was it just last year or two years ago? Last year, I think, two years ago. I don't remember now, but everyone went goo goo goggle over it, especially me. Um, I just thought it was gorgeous, and um, I absolutely love it. It's still one of my absolute favorite fall pieces, but one of my favorite 
uh, collections that Yankee has done um, in recent history. I just think it's beautiful for fall. So in the tea light votive holders, I have votives in Yankee Candle Buttercream on both sides. And then in the jar holders, I have, this is Yankee Candle Pumpkin Wreath. And over here we have gingerbread. Now, surprisingly enough, both of those candles have been going on all day. I mean all day from basically when I woke up this morning at the crack of dawn before, before dawn. Um, there was a little bit of tunneling going on during the week, you know, because like I told you before, you know, I just don't have a lot of burn time anymore. But they've been going on all day, all day day I mean we're past the 12 hour point now um, and so as you can see there's still some work to be done because they have not pulled out completely there is you know a wax ring going on um, I'm tempted to pull it let's see if we can do this without hurting myself I'm tempted to see if it's just a wax ring if it actually pulled well, yeah, it's a little bit of a pull, but not much. That extra wax along the side still has not quite dissipated. I probably should have cut it out, but I didn't. Um, so, these candles are actually throwing. It's kind of an odd combination because pumpkin wreath isn't bakery. Um, you know, because I have gingerbread, cinnamon, vanilla, pumpkin pie going on. Um, but I wanted to burn pumpkin wreath because I like it. And I wanted to burn gingerbread because I like it. And I wanted to burn cinnamon vanilla because I like it. And I wanted to burn pumpkin pie because I like it. So, hey, it's my house. I can burn whatever I want, right? Um, and strangely enough, the combination works. Normally, I smell the bakery. You know, I smell the gingerbread. I smell the cinnamon vanilla. Those are two strong throwing candles. And those are definitely the predominant scents that I smell. But strangely enough, the other night, I was sitting on my couch, and all of a sudden, I was like, what's that smell? What am I picking up? And it was the pumpkin wreath. And I could smell the pumpkin in the apple and the cedar, and it's, it's just a lovely scent. Not everybody likes it. I mean, you either, it's one of those love-hate candles. You either love it, or it smells like a hamster cage to you, because all you pick up is the cedar. I mean, it's definitely not a foodie scent, but um, for some reason, it's working with all the other scents I have going on right now, and I really love it. And, of course, gingerbread and pumpkin wreath and the cinnamon vanilla, three powerhouse candles, are retired. Yep. Retired. Because they throw... And finally, last but not least, we get to my coffee table. And um, I had mentioned in my empties video, if you watched my uh, candle empties for October, you saw that I went through a lot of smaller size candles, like some baby jars, etc. And I had mentioned that I liked using the smaller candles because um, in the medium size fractal, I find that the smaller the candle, the lower the light source, the more the fractal glows. Um, but I find that like Kringle's, Kringle Candles Daylights work the best. Tea Light second choice, Votive's third choice, and then a small jar would be my last choice because I just find that using a jar takes away from the shine. And this is an example of that because... I have Yankee Candle, a pure radiance in autumn air, which is like an apple marshmallow scent. Should have burned it in September, but I didn't. And as you can see, I mean, I get a little bit of glow, but this should be sparkling like gold. See this sparkle? Tea light. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. This is dull in comparison. But this I can actually hear the crackle. And I can smell it. It's definitely like marshmallow. I smell mostly marshmallow. Hint of apple. 
Same thing on this side. Definitely can smell the marshmallow. And then over here I have a Kringle Country Candle Daylight in the Scent Vanilla Cupcake, which I can smell. I'm smelling mostly vanilla over on my coffee table, people. And these are all votives in buttercream, which I can definitely pick up. So between the vanilla cup mambo, between the vanilla cupcake and the buttercream, I am mostly smelling yummy vanilla scent. So there you guys have it. That is what I am burning now in November. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below. And have a blessed day.